So up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asengold, and today we're going to look at how to get the Drake of the North Wind. Now, he drops from Vortex Pinnacle, the second boss, Altarius. Now, uh, the mount looks exactly like the boss that we're going to be killing, so I'll show you guys that when we get there. And uh, it's all the way up in the top. Uh, I guess it's in the clouds here, so you got to fly up here. Now, uh, some things that people might, some uh, some voodoo things, oh, wild voodoo, It it it's got the same chance of dropping a normal than it does in heroic. Okay, so th th there's no magic, oh, I do it on heroic, don't do it on heroic. I I'm doing this on my rogue, and I like to show the most efficient way of doing something possible uh, throughout all my classes, uh, just so I can kind of, I don't know, give people a good idea of, I don't know, how fast it can be done. I do this run in under three minutes. And um, anyway, so basically the whole idea here is um, I'm doing this on my rogue, and if you have a rogue, you want to do this on him too, because obviously you can skip all the trash with a uh, burst of speed, have infinite sprint, and uh, also avoid these annoying things. I'll show you guys those whenever we get to them. Now, uh, you do have to kill the bosses. Now, um, there's really actually only one boss that you have to kill besides the mount boss and it's this guy. Uh, he does nothing because he's a level uh, 80, 82 or 83. Uh, Cataclysm Dungeon Boss, so I'm not really going to go into too much detail about, uh, you know, all the spells he casts. But uh, all you need to know is that is you have to kill him in order to uh, activate this tornado here. And um, if you don't activate the tornado, then you cannot get to the second boss. If you fall off, it also brings you back to the beginning of the instance, which is extremely annoying. But um, actually, it works out for our advantage, because that's an easy way for us to kind of go back to the entrance of the dungeon. And... Um, you know, just reset the instance. Now, as you guys are going to see here, there are these two little orbs, they knock you back. But if you cast Cloak of Shadows right before you go in through them, they don't do anything because all the uh, all the knockback spells miss you. But uh, if you are not a rogue, what you want to do is make sure that you hit them with a ranged attack before they get in melee range to, uh, or at least close enough to where they can knock you back. Usually, you won't be able to get a melee attack off on them, at least I wasn't able to on my warrior. And uh, here we come, or uh, here we go, up to the uh, Altarius, and um, the mount that he drops looks exactly like this, and it's uh, again the uh, Drake of the North Wind, and uh, he is obviously very easy to kill, but uh, some little tip here is that if you have the wind going against you, you do less damage. I don't care, because I'm like Siege of Orgrimmar geared, and this is a Cataclysm instance, and as soon as you finish the, the, uh, the run, you just go over here, and you jump off. And uh, what this is going to do is it's going to port you right back to the start of the instance. About two weeks ago, they changed the amount of instances that you used to be able to do. Now, uh, since forever, you used to only be able to do five instances an hour. And that's actually been changed recently, and now you can do up to ten instances per hour. So this makes making these runs more efficient all that more important because where I could do like five runs in like I don't know like 40 minutes or something on my warrior I can do obviously if I did the same run that I did in the first uh, the first length of this video the first run of this video um it would take me only 30 minutes to do 10 runs and so mounts a 1% drop chance so uh, I don't know I mean you've got a pretty good chance of getting it if you do it I don't know like 100 times so I mean you could potentially do that in one day if you're you know a no life fat nerd and so, uh, you know, that's definitely possible. So it makes farming these mounts a lot easier. Now, I'm just going to show you guys exactly what these uh, things do when they, when they knock you back. As you can see, um, it knocked me back a little bit, but then I can just hit it with, uh, you know, fan of knives. But uh, anyway, um, these runs are very quick, easy to do. Uh, if you have to kill the mobs, you might want to make sure that you loot them because they drop valuable greens that you can be disenchanting. And they uh, also drop modes of air or something like that, like uh, essence of air. And so um, you can sell those also. But honestly, that's pretty much all it takes to get this mount. So good luck. And uh, thanks for watching. And like, comment, subscribe.